Hello everybody, in this video I'm going to give you some advice on Ujin and will encourage you to practice more. Let's start with the first uh, most common question that I'm asked. Uh, people usually ask me about uh, another exercise to practice, to gain flexibility, to be able to practice Ujin on the bench. It's like they think that their flexibility is not enough and you should be uh, at least a little bit flexible before starting with Wojin. Actually, if you are totally not flexible, it is even uh, a little bit hard. Uh, you will have effects in short period of time. Uh, and one flexible uh, man or woman uh, will we'll need to wait a lot until the moment of the pain. So it is absolutely nothing to do with your flexibility because what gym is just a stretching and you can and you need to do it uh, as as you can. You see, there is no standard here. There is no if your leg is not straight. Uh, you are not doing it right, or such uh, such this thing, you know, such uh, this example. So, if you are, for example, flexible enough just to do it like this, you have nothing to worry about. You see, if you do it like this, it is still working. And you don't need to search for other exercises to uh, gain your flexibility because you are wasting your time. Actually, you are practicing with gym to, uh, to cure disease and to unblock yourself. And it's stupid to not do it and start with other exercises that are not uh, helping for the healing effect and also um, does not think in, yeah, yeah, I mean, in the healing effect. So you're wasting your time. Practice as you can. No need to look like in the pictures uh, of the models, you see. It's like, this is how I look like without uh, having a belt. Yeah, I can straight it. This is the maximum uh, strengthening, straightening of the leg. So this is my hanging leg, probably. If you are uh, with less flexibility, it will look something like this, and there is nothing to worry about. Just practice. Because actually, the thing here is to get uh, to the point that you are, you are not feeling pain and not uh, you are looking flexible. We, we are not uh, stretching to become uh, ballet dancers. Uh, we are stretching uh, for healthy reasons. So it's nothing to do. Uh, with how it looks like. So stop thinking about how flexible you are and how you are not able to do a gym and just start practicing it. It doesn't matter how it looks. If it hurts, you are doing a very good job. Another fre frequently asked question is about the weights, uh, the, the weights for the ankle, the ankle weights. You just need to buy a normal weights. They are not something special. You can find them in the shops where uh, people are selling stuff for fitness, some fitness equipment. Mine are very standard. I bought them from normal standard shop uh, for like fitness uh, stuff. And I just bought the heaviest ones. One of these is three kilos. If you buy like two for two kilos or two for one kilos or like two for three kilos, it is totally enough. Uh, two kilos is very good way to start your uh, practice. Of course, you can start it without any weights. I started it without any weights and I uh, started using weights months after I started. Uh, and uh, it's not something 100% necessary, so it is another uh, thing to stop worrying about.
Uh, so yeah, six kilos are totally enough for perfect virgin practice. Um, so if you can buy from somewhere two weights like this for three, uh, that weight three kilos, you have six kilos on your ankles and everything is totally in the range of, in the range of normal. So another thing, the belt, absolutely normal belt. Look, belt without holes. This is, this is the only thing you should know. This is how my belt looks like, like this, like this. You can use also uh, other very common belts, like this one. So, these belts are very common, at least in my country. You see, like this, and then clap, and you have it, okay? Absolutely normal belt, nothing special about it. Um, and let's move to the other frequently asked question. Where to buy a bench? Uh, I'm not a good seller. I can sell you a good bench for Europe, but for other continents, I'm, uh, I cannot offer you a competitive price. So do your research and buy it. There is uh, really expensive ones on the internet, but it is so easy to make a bench. L really guys, it is very easy. Imagine this is an old table that costs five dollars or ten dollars or someone just throw it away you buy a plank that is another five dollars and you just attach it with the screwdriver that's it um, the only thing is that you make sure that when you lay like this this neck is hanging and not touching hardly the ground you can touch it like very gently with the with the with your toes, just gently, but like not hardly stepping on the ground. This is the only recommendation. Uh, another very uh, important thing is um, uh, it is weird for me because no one asks about it, but it is in the same time the only really important question out of all these here. So, you should use a belt. You should use it. It's like, um, it's like very important to stretch the top leg because uh, while stretching it with the belt, you have very good stretching in the urinary bladder meridian. And this meridian is uh, supplying the kidney uh, chi, a, a lot of it. So not only the kidney channel. And by stretching this leg very good, you're stretching the, the hanging leg very good as well. Uh, both help each other. You will feel it. For example, if you, if you uh, tight very, very hard your um, top leg, you feel better stretching in the hanging leg. And the opposite, if you put like six kilos on your hanging leg, you will feel better stretching on the top leg. Uh, so the, the better stretching in the separate legs helps for the total stretching. Uh, another very important thing, when you lay like this, try to not use your hands for anything. Um, like this, when you lay, uh, some people are looking at their phones and they're closing the heart pericardium channels. Uh, they're also flexing the other channels in the in the outside of the of the arms. So do not use your hands a lot. It is uh, not uh, it's not something cool. Of course, sometimes uh, it's impossible to not use them because someone calls you. It's important call to to take or you just want to to um, like what is this itching? Uh, so you, you want to just uh, to remove something it's like something that uh, feels you extremely uncomfortable, but try to not use your arms, try to not move them from their position. Um, yeah. Uh, 
Um, maybe another uh, thing that people are very interested in is how to place their pelvis on the bench. And the thing here is, um, it is really hard though to like uh, totally like attach your pelvis to the bench surface, but try to do it as much as you can. Like uh, it, is, it is not cool to do it like, like this, like lifting one side of the pelvis. Some people stretch like this and it's not a good stretch. Try to do it like this and uh, and yeah, this is important. Of course, you will never feel like the, the same weight on both left and right uh, parts of your pelvis. Um, like when, when they touch the bench, but try to do it almost almost equal or as much as possible equal uh, but really lifting the butt the the buttocks is uh, it's not it is not right Whew. okay vitali thank you so sorry about that and <clears throat> and yet uh, what else what else when you buy a plank, make sure it is long enough to cover your whole legs. Because uh, once I invited a friend of mine, of mine to make a workshop, a Pai workshop with him, to show him Pai Wajin, and he liked the Pai a lot. And when uh, we went to the, the next thing was stretching on the bench. And had, when he laid on the bench, he is uh, very tall. And his leg was uh, out of the out of the plank. So make sure it it is long enough. Let me see the question. So Vitali, I have long bench and my arms stay on the bench, not hanging. Perfect. No, it is not problem. And thank you for this. I can talk about that. So it is not problem if your bench is shorter. You are still stretching very good. When when the bench is shorter, when when this this thing is short, uh, the lagin looks something like like this. So it covers the head, but you must add some uh, like stay with with the arms like this. You by using your muscles. It's like when you when you relax the muscles, they are getting this position. Of course, it, you can you can stretch like this. It's not that big of a deal, but uh, maybe a little bit better if, if when you really try to to stretch them. But if your uh, bench is long enough, you can just just make them like this. And even if your bench is even longer, like uh, longer from here, like my other bench, I have. I have uh, another bench in my village. So even if it's longer and your arms are on the bench to the whole length, totally fine. Nothing to worry about. Okay, Sean, I'm from Ireland. I would like to buy a bench of you. I think you're doing great work and would like to support the channel. Thank you, Sean. Um, I will leave you my email. And uh, copy it and uh, email me and I'll try to uh, give you the bench with, uh, with, the, with the best price I can. Uh, you should know something, I'm not making the benches. We are, I'm not the only Pidawajin promoter in my country. My country is Bulgaria, and here is some one very, very good promoter. Maybe after Hong Chishao, he is like uh, the, the most active person in Pai Gym community. Uh, the different things in us is like I promote it more from uh, my point of view, like my uh, sexual problems and insomnia. 
but he is like doing it in the same way as Master Hong Chishao. So he has a carpenter that are making the benches and me and him uh, and me and, and this guy, his name is Kamen Filipov, we are selling the benches in equal prices. Just if you buy it for me, he is giving me a commission. So yeah, this is this is the, the thing. Uh, yeah, what else? What else, what else, what else? Uh, ah, about about the the top leg, about the top leg. There is a question about where should point where should be pointed our toes. Like, is it good just not to think about them, or is it okay if they are like this outwards, it doesn't. or like this inwards, or just like this straight? So the the best thing is straight, and even even a little bit, just a little bit inwards. But to be honest. Uh, when I lay on the bench, I try to start like this, like a little bit inwards. But with the time, because let's say I, I lay for 20, 30 minutes, sometimes 40, then with the time my, my, my foot is turning outwards a little bit. And I'm trying to correct it, but he like stays in this position. So it's not that big of a deal if it, if it is turned a little bit outward. So still nothing to worry about. You are still stretching very good uh, the most parts of the, the foot. Another question I, I was asked is about using a pillow. There is a guy who feels very uncomfortable and he asks if he can use a pillow. Not. You cannot. It's not right. Probably you will lose some of the effects. So you do not use a, a pillow. Another question. <laughs> I saw a guy, he, he was from Bulgaria, and he attached the plank to his bed, to his soft bed. Uh, not right, guys. Uh, it's like you you should not focus just on straightening this the, the top leg. It is a whole posture, in and every detail is equally important. There is no there is no such a thing like legs are more important than the arms and uh, stuff like that. So everything is important. This should be flat and hard. This should be. Uh, like vertical, this should be horizontal, one leg should be hanging, and the, the, the arms must be like this as much as we can. In some people look like this, in some people they look like this because they are not flexible enough, and some people are just touching with the, the, to the, with the whole length of, of the arms. Like for example, my girlfriend. And this is background noise. I can stop him. Wait a little bit. So I saw a lot of flexible people who have uh, problems, pain in the body, in their bodies, and a lot of not not flexible people who feel fine and comfortable in their bodies. So. Uh, my girlfriend, sometimes when, when she dances a lot, because she's a pro dancer, uh, she experiences uh, back pain, shoulder pain, sometimes knee pain. And when she lays on the bench, she's so flexible that there is no gap between her knee, uh, the skin behind the knee and the, and the plank. There is, there, there are, she's arms are absolutely attached everywhere on the bench, but she has these blockages, you see? So do not focus on how flexible you are. The thing here is uh, 
the pain. So if you stretch, if you reach that time that you are stretching like 30 minutes per leg every day or 20 minutes, 20 minutes are also a very good time per day and do not feel anything with like five, six kilos attached on the hanging leg. This is a very good, uh, this is a very good sign that you are unblocked person. So the pain is way more important than how it looks. Um, okay, I'll give you a minute if you have some other questions because I think I said what I wanted to say. Uh, and we can call it a day, okay? <clears throat> Maybe a good thing is some people uh, are on the bench. This is the wood. Uh, so they place something very soft on the wood and uh, I don't think it's good. I don't think it's good. I just use a yoga mat. Uh, so if, when we sell benches, we offer this kind of mattresses, but I, I always advise my clients to not buy them <laughs> and they will save a little bit, a little bit money. And, it, and in my opinion, it's not cool to, to, to use a mattress like that, with that size. Um, it's always better to practice on uh, hard, hard benches. Ooh, I always, I always miss that. So almost, not always, almost missed very important thing. You should be very well covered from the wind. If you have like like this, like your 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 t-shirt is getting up, and you stretch like this on the bench, and uh, cold wind is blowing from somewhere, you are done. So you you have used almost useless practice of wajin. So always use use something here if it is if it's cold and if it's windy. I I use it all the time. So. I, I always like try to be like this when I stretch because like that I'm covered from from the wind. It's very important. Uh, also, I I I also very very oftenly like I often do this. I putting my my <clears throat> pants, my tracksuit in the sock in the socks because I'm covered again. I know. It, 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 it looks so weird, but we are not walking the streets. It's just, it's just for the stretching. And that's totally enough. So you should make sure that um, st you, you stay warm for this practice. Yeah, some people ask me if they can now stretch two times a day. Of course you can. If, uh, <clears throat> the results are better. A little bit better, not like two times better. Are a little bit better if you track, if you practice in the mornings and if they in, in and in the evenings. But this is not something that you should keep. Like if you have this uh, consistency with uh, practicing two times a day, I I used to do that. But uh, you cannot keep that like that during your whole life. So you should always know that uh, he, he, you will have. This kind of lifestyle sooner or later that will stop this and uh, always try to to have one practice a day or like five, five six a week and that's the most important thing. Okay, Sean, when I Google the gym, I see people with weight on the foot facing up. Do you recommend this? I came late to the video. You might have discovered. No, I, I didn't uh, cover this. And it is very good question. I just uh, mm, I just don't do it and don't feel any big difference when I stretch with uh, weight on the top foot. So uh, let me show you what Sean is talking about. I really hope that I, I pronounce your name right because in the last video I call you Sin, but then I realized that scene it's like Sean Paul the rapper <laughs> so it's yeah it's written the same way and I probably mispronounced your name so Sean talks about this like this uh, 
I don't have, uh, I, I don't use that. I don't feel big difference uh, with this thing. And that's why I don't recommend it. So I do not recommend something that I did not, that I did not practice, but you can experiment with it. Yeah. Maybe it has a little bit stretching, but uh, you know what bothers me about this? Uh, it bothers me that because if you, if you use that, it's like your foot is not something uh, horizontal to the ground. It's always like the, the surface of the foot is like a little bit tilted. And when you use this, you have more weight on the right or on the left. And it's not like I don't I don't feel it in I don't feel it um, that intelligent like uh, using this ninety degree plank and uh, horizontal plank to the ground and I don't feel it that that good this and that's why I don't do not use it <sighs> yeah thank you so much. Uh, for your watching. I think this video is very important for everyone who wants to practice. Oh, I have one more question, one more question. Uh, so pr you, uh, you can practice with two benches, uh, with two, two, not two benches, sorry. You can practice with two chairs to the wall, but just as a short term alternative to the bench, to the real practicing of legit on the bench. Um, it, it is, let's say something like, for sure not like 100% of the effect of legit. With two chairs attached to the wall or to the door frame, you cannot get this effect which you can get from a bench. And again, I really recommend you to, to, to make your own bench. Buying bench is, uh, of course, okay. Uh, buying benches is not something that makes me rich. Uh, I sell like maybe six, seven benches per year. Um, but really though, I care about your uh, effect. So, Attach something to old table and start practicing. Um, don't make this so complicated. Of course, if you have the money and they are not bother you, you can buy a bench. No problem about that. So with Sean, we're going to talk about the bench. If someone else uh, wants a bench, you can uh, use my email as well. So let me just show you what I mean by two chairs. Like this, imagine this here is a, is a wall and as an alternative, like short term alternative, uh, until you have your bench, you can practice like this. So with this, like, like this, but you, you cannot uh, practice like this forever, you see, because chairs are very short, uh, you will step very hard on the ground sooner or later, uh, and the stretch will be very little compared to real stretching on, on the bench. Also, it's very hard to attach your top leg with the belt to something. Uh, so I really recommend uh, making a bench or buying one. You were great. Thank you so much. And see you in the next video. Bye Vitaly and bye Sean.